Thank you very much, uh, District Secretary PAG Mando Eton, for that uh, very detailed report. Next, I would like to call on the District Finance Chair, PDG Ben Agazu, to present the report on the Finance Committee. PDG Ben, please. State Governor Sam, our district governor, past district governors, our district governor elect, district governor nominee, assistant governors present and past, club presidents present and past, all Rotary leaders, district leaders, district Rotaract representative, my dear fellow Rotarians and friends. On June 30, 2020, by the grace of God, I will finally retire from direct responsibilities for husbanding the financial resources of Rotary at various levels. I have indeed been highly honored to have served as one of the two signatories to the District Education Endowment Fund accounts from 1995 to October 2012, a period of about 18 years. The other signatory was late PDG, a dispute of the Rotary Club of Port Harcourt. I also served as the investment advisor to the Board of Trustees of DIF during that period working under the leadership of 17 past district governors who were the chairman of the board at one time or the other. I further served as the district finance chair in the terminal years of the erstwhile district 9140 during 2015-2017. Furthermore, in the year 2016, the Council of Governors of District 9140 appointed Rotary International Vice President Yinka Babalola and I to share the assets of District 9140 between the two successor districts. We have been steady at that task and are about concluding it successfully. I have served under the leadership of the first three governors of our young district, 9140, as district finance chair. I thank God that in my very long service, working in positions of trust to manage and safeguard the assets of Rotary districts, serving under the leadership of 20 past district governors, I have given my very best in executing my mandates. My dear friends, my integrity has never ever been called into question. My dear friends, I value my integrity above every other earthly thing and have always done and will continue to do everything lawful to defend and uphold it while working for the common good. As I retire, I am satisfied and happy that I am handing over the leadership of the finance function of our district 
to very capable and younger persons with whom I have served. I believe that they will continue to serve with dedication and with integrity. My dear friends, I believe that I've earned my leave. Please, I plead with anybody that has anything that proves that Ben Ayazo lacks integrity to publish them to Rotarians and others with his or her name, phone number, and club, and be kind enough to copy me. My dear friends, the future of our district lies in seeking the truth, holding on to the truth, and serving with integrity. In the words of Chippen Nyangwood, and I quote, in the midst of the corruption in Nigeria, Rotary is different. In Rotary, you do things right. Quote closes. I will add my own plea. Please, fellow Rotarians, let us strive to remain so. Rotarians are in Rotary to give, not to take. In Rotary, we shame greed. We put greed to shame. My dear friends, in a few days, I will retire as a finance chair. But I will, God be my helper, remain an active Rotarian serving wherever appropriate opportunities call. Thank God for Rotary. Thank God that I am a Rotarian. Thank God for the numerous opportunities that I have had to positively impact many global communities while enjoying priceless fellowship with fellow Rotarians and collecting good friends from all continents. My dear friends, please permit me to leave you with these words. Let us, each of us, all Rotarians, commit ourselves unflinchingly to doing things right and strive to keep our commitment. I thank God and I thank you all, my dear friends, for the opportunities you have offered me to be continually immersed and be cleansed in the character improving protagent. May God bless you all. Vive la rotary. <laughs>